I don't think that artists are special and I don't think musicians are special and I think poets are particularly not special. How did you come up with your childish name? This was given to me in the punk rock days in 77 and uh, people had much more interest in names than their family names and I thought, well, I want to join in. And uh, I, Claudius, was being serialised by the BBC in 76. I liked this character, Claudius, so I chose the name Gus Claudius as my punk rock name, which I had for a couple of months, but then my friend said to me, you're not Gus Claudius, you're Billy Childish. <laughs> and it stuck. Uh, let, let, let me read everybody the title of your exhibition, of your new group of work. It's All Apparent Achievements and Misdemeanors Are Non-Defining. Yeah. Can you walk us into the I think bigger meaning of the title? Well, I think it's self-explanatory. My, by my opinion, the, um, I don't... People would like to put you in a box. All mm. of us, they like to categorise us. And uh, people like doing it with me particularly because they would either want me to be a a painter or a musician or a writer and often they only want me to be one of those things and our society tends to be very keen on defining us and if society is not defining us we like to define ourselves by what we do and I don't like defining myself by what I do and I don't like being defined. <laughs> Is that why you do the mu do music, painting, writing, and cooking, as I just learned? Um, because you, you, you want to break out of these boxes that people circle around an, uh, an artist? Or is it sometimes you can express certain things better in a certain medium? It's because I get bored easily. So, although re the music and the painting and all that, uh, these other and the writing have this very elemental uh, aspect to them. They're all very, are very interested in the ground, the grounding of those things, which is their, their unification. But other than that, I don't sort of cross-fertilise between them. They're not, I, I never wanted the music to be reliant on the painting, the painting to be rely, reliant on the writing or the it gives oh, you more freedom too, folks. Absolutely, much yeah, it? yeah. Because I, again, yeah. For me, this is this is about elbow room. So I'm not going to contain myself within those. I want those things to be taken on their own level. In your working yeah. life and whatever you did, uh, I think like music-wise, you never published on, on on some major record industry. You were always about being independent labels here. And this strategy of making yourself to the bigger music market rare, in a, in a way, is, seems to work in the art world, right, as, as a painter and stuff, because it's, it's organized in a different way, um, contributing more to the f fame and maybe even f financial success. Is there, can well, we say a, that? Or? You, 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 can, you can't use the term strategy because I don't never have a strategy. What happens, I, we leave the strategies to the Third Reich and they got them wrong. Did, did I say strategy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then but I strategy, take yeah, back. But it's fine. No, it's, it's, it's good because it means that I can clarify and please. say where please, I am. Please, please. Because uh, I, I don't have an agenda. Mm -hmm. The reason that we made things ourselves and um, we're outside of the music industry is because the music industry is not interested in people having control. Mm -hmm. And if you... In it, if the industry had welcomed us and allowed us to produce and make our own sleeves, I would be very happy to be in the music industry. So it's, I'm not against um, these institutions. They are against creativity. And, and for me, my, it's comfortable, or it is only comfortable to do what I want to do. So I don't have a choice, because my nature is that I can't tolerate um, those confinements 
that they put on me. And strangely, as you say, like I became successful as a painter a couple of years ago in their terms, in, in the art world terms, and it's actually a big surprise to me, but I'm allowed to be, uh, to do exactly what I want, how I want to do it, mm -hmm. probably because I've stuck to my guns for so long. And then I've met a few people who are really in accord with the creative process I'm, I, I'm engaged with, so I'm very lucky on that level. But with a painting like this, you see, if, this, if I was in a, uh, if this was an equivalent of music, they'd be saying, well, we could, don't you think you should airbrush it? Mm -hmm. We'll have someone in who can do proper airbrushing. Shine it up a little. Yeah, because this is not right. Was Most that people, always like that, even in, in the old punk rock days? Or was in, there in, another in, attitude in, at a certain well, time? In a degree, it was heading that way very quickly in the punk rock days. It wasn't such an issue, but it people were looking at attitude, not sound. The strange thing in music, people very rarely look at... They only talk about sound in a, in a Dolby snobbish kind of way. People say it's one take and we don't care. What happens, that's true to an extent, because if the energy is correct, I won't, cor I won't um, have a guitar solo redone. We're still multi-track most of the recordings we do, and it's obvious that I could redo it. And I've decided not to. And there's a reason I've decided not to, and it happens not to be because I'm lazy. Usually, it is, a, it, it is a creative decision. And it's often in respect of the song and the way we work, because the song dictates the sound it wants if, you, if you're open to it, and you don't dictate to the song. And this truth works across the board in everything, because it's a, true, it's a real truth.